I am on day 1313. Oh, Welcome to another OMAD blog. I'm Dr. Erica and I have lost and kept off 60 pounds for over three years through intermittent fasting and also through exercise. I also like to help encourage and motivate you while you're on your journey. If that sounds like something you're interested in, sis, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family. I promise you'll love it here. Today is Thursday, February the 15th, and I am ready to have an amazing day. Today, I am on day 13, 13? Girl, 13, 13 days in a row of me, your girl, showing up for herself every single day because, see, I made myself a priority. I am definitely important, and self-care is not selfish. It's actually necessary. So are you looking for an accountability partner? Girl, that's why I'm here. Not only do I show up for myself every day, you know, I show up for you as well, making these daily vlogs. See, I'm going to hype you up. I'm going to gas you up. I will be your biggest cheerleader, making you believe and realize you can do anything you put your mind to because you can. So I know it's someone out there who is ready to start their health and wellness journey. If I'm talking to you, girl, I need you to do one thing because see, not only am I the queen of consistency, clearly girl, day 13, 13 days in a row, I am also the queen of walking in place. So go ahead head stand up start walking in place watch this entire vlog and girl your exercise your workout your movement for day one is done go ahead pat yourself on the back congratulations on making today this day your day one you know the start of your health and wellness journey now sis you just gotta keep going start showing up and showing out because that's what we do over here girl start shining bright like a diamond it's time to elevate, you know, level up your life. Just like I said, you are important. So make yourself a priority. Self-care is not selfish. Girl, it's actually necessary. Now it's time for me to head downstairs and get my workout in. Y'all, come on. Thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. 
13, 13 days in a row, girl. So I just got done working out and as always, best friend, it was a good one. But you already know, you got to go first. Go ahead and tell me about your workout. You know, I want to know what time you're working out, what kind of workout you're doing, how long you're going to work out for, girl. What are you watching? What are you listening to? Girl, because you know we like to stay entertained while we're working out. Just tell us anything there is to know about your workout because that's what accountability partners do. And girl, that's what we are. So just in case you didn't know, once you click that subscribe button, and if you hadn't, girl, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and click the subscribe button. But once you click that subscribe button, girl, we are uh, locked. We will forever be showing up for each other as accountability partners. Girl, I am your consistency best friend. So just go ahead and tell the whole family, girl, about your workout. So how was your best friend's workout? Girl, let's go ahead and talk about it. So I already knew today, girl, was going to look a little different. We are coming off our birthday on yesterday. So I came on downstairs and I started out just like how I normally would do. I warmed up on my treadmill. I did a five minute walk. And then your girl did two miles, a two mile run today for part of her cardio. And then once I got done with that run, I got off and your girl, girl, we picked up the jump ropes. Yes, ma'am, the cordless jump ropes for about 15 minutes. And just in case you are new here, girl, listen, I can go on and on about how much I love my cordless jump ropes, how, you know, convenient they are. And girl, I, I just love them. So they will be linked down in the description box if you are interested in checking those out. So after I got done, you know, with my little jump ropes, okay, I moved on to my resistance training. And that was, I just picked up my 15 pound kettlebell and I did 50 um, kettlebell swings. So you already know how I like to break those up. I I did five sets of 10 on my kettlebell swings and then I just ended with my little cool down and stretch. Now I guess you say girl best friend what happened? That looks a little different than what we are used to seeing. And I would say, yes, ma'am, that is absolutely correct. But girl, that was part of the plan. So I already knew last night, girl, going to sleep. I was just like, girl, when I wake up in the morning, it is no way I'm going to run five miles, 10 miles. Girl, listen, we are not doing that in the morning because I knew I ate differently yesterday than what I normally would eat. You know, I went to sleep much later than what I normally would you know so girl we were celebrating last night dealing with the whole girl birthday shenanigans and speaking of which girl I, I don't even think I recorded yesterday my little sweet treat girl I ate my little vegan brownie on yesterday so I already knew girl in the morning mm -mm, girl the most important thing though and if I can encourage you today my goals still remain the same now I know girl 99% of the time you will see what I normally would do but this morning the plan was just to move your body sis sometimes you may have to shift you may have to pivot you may have to change direction but as long as that goal your goal still remains the same you are good and my goal is to move my body every single day first thing in the morning of course and that's exactly what I did so oh, girl I already know your girl probably gonna be walking in place at work you know trying to kind of make up for some steps you know but um, I'm proud of myself because, girl, the way I was feeling this morning, I was just like, oh, girl, uh, I might just be doing one mile. So I did actually run the two. So I'm over here patting myself on the back. So what is on the agenda for today? So you already know, yes, your girl will be in the office on today. And just to note, so yes, this morning's workout was a little different. But tomorrow morning, Friday morning, will look a little differently as well. Because I mentioned yesterday, tomorrow will be my hospital day. So I'll be a little short on time. So once again, I will have to adjust the workout, you know, based off of, you know, the time and what I have going on. So in the office today, and um, I already told you, your girl will be playing catch up a little bit, you know, uh, walking in place on the steps. And then as far as my fast, girl, today, the plan will be just my regular scheduled program. Oh man, my sweet spot, one meal for today. Once I get home and I was thinking, girl, after the way I cut up yesterday, girl, I might need to do another down day, but we'll just see how that goes. I'm just so happy that I have my best friend here, you know, following me along my day, 
girl, drinking this water together. We're fasting get together. Girl, we're just hanging out. So listen, go ahead, check in. Let me know about your workout. Of course, I'm about to head in here, start drinking on this water because you know I like to go ahead and get 20 ounces in before I even leave the house and, you know, in an attempt to reach that goal of a gallon. So let me head in here, girl, so I can go ahead and get us out of here to school and to work. Girl, you go ahead, check in. Let me know about your workout. Hey girl, it is time for our midday check-in. Best friend, you already know this is one of my favorite times of the day. Girl, we can check in and just see how each other, you know, is doing. So girl, tell me about how your morning is going. You already know some of the things I want to know. I need to know about your water. I want to know about your steps. I want to know about your fast. So how are you doing with your water? Girl, are you on track to reach your goal? Whatever that goal is. If not, go ahead, girl. Take a couple of sips right now because we want all the benefits of our water and then how are you doing with your steps are you on track to reach that goal if you are behind girl stand up right now start walking in place and you know that's coming from the queen of walking in place you definitely do still have time to reach whatever that step goal is and then if you are a faster how are you doing with your fast and i haven't mentioned this in a few vlogs girl if you want to fast with the community you know fast with your best friend be sure to check out the link down in the description box girl girl we're on the life app girl it's free just join the circle okay so how is your fast going girl have you been feeling hungry at all or not you know how long will you fast for today girl just tell us anything there is to know about your morning including tell us whatever you'll be eating okay if you are about to break your fast because you just never do know who may be getting their next meal idea from what you'll be eating so girl how is your best friend over here doing so as far as my water girl listen i'm not going girl we all over the place over here girl i have been drinking from this water bottle this one right here i've been drinking from my pink gallon girl so honestly i don't even know how much water uh, i have had today i'm drinking it but i'm not sure exactly how much okay and then as far as my steps girl I just hit 12,000 steps because remember, I did my two mile run this morning and then did my jump rope. So that is a little less than what I normally would have. But girl, listen, it is just fine. Remember, girl, this is the day after the birthday behavior, okay? And then as far as my fast, so right now it is 1245, which means, of course, I am almost at 17 hours fasted. But I am feeling really good right now. So once again, you know, I'll just have my um, OMAD my one meal for today once I get home and actually I still am trying to decide you know if today if I can just utilize today as a down day but girl you'll just have to keep on watching to see what I decide so how has your best friend been girl we've actually been steady not too crazy you know not overly worked but when i tell you your best friend is actually girl on the struggle bus over here and i already know where it is coming from so if you remember girl i've been talking the past couple of days about you know how having a lot of things going on remember monday we had the basketball game the late basketball game so i got in the bed late Tuesday, I guess the anticipation of my birthday. Then yesterday, getting in the bed late. Girl, when I tell you all morning, I have been thinking, Lord God, let me just get to this house because, girl, I'm probably going to dive in that bed once I get home. So I've been struggling a little bit this morning. But once again, girl, yesterday being a special occasion, we're going to bounce back real quick, okay? So a couple of things I wanted to, girl, go ahead and check in about. Girl, bring you up to speed about. So, girl, I got my car back. Yes, I know yesterday we was talking about all the birthday things but i was able to get my car back on yesterday so just in case you don't remember you know at the end of december i was involved in a car accident somebody re written into me girl and so i've taken you through the process of you know um from start to finish and now yesterday girl i got my baby back so we are back in full effect and i am so happy about it actually this morning the rental car place reached out to me and they was asking about, you know, how was my experience and how was the customer service? Girl, I just gave them rave reviews. In fact, I told them if they could send out a survey, you know, I would gladly give them, girl, a 10-star rating. I think oftentimes, you know, you hear about the complaints when things don't go your way or things go wrong, but not necessarily when things go right. So I definitely let them know, not only the young lady who called me, but in fact, my experience just overall, 
with the manager just the whole experience was definitely um top tier so i did let them know that also one more thing girl so remember we've been talking about birthday of course girl for the past couple of weeks same but girl the birthday shenanigans are not over so real quick though so you know this sunday you know how we do the sunday dinner so this would have been my turn to cook sunday dinner to host a sunday dinner so girl ask me why girl i know a blessing that came my way so my sister sent out a message girl you already know how you have like the group text the family text we have the sibling text going on so she said hey you know we have several february birthdays coming up so i think i mentioned of course i come from a big family my birthday was yesterday i have one brother whose birthday is today i have a, bro a brother whose birthday is on tomorrow the 16th and then my mom you know girl nana her birthday is on sunday yes girl so all of our birthdays right here together so my sister sent out the text message and she said hey Hey, you know, um, she shouldn't have to, you know, host Sunday dinner on her birthday. Why don't we make a big deal and just celebrate everybody's birthday? And of course, I thought that was a wonderful idea. So, girl, here I am, girl, still with the celebration. So, on Sunday, just know my sister said, and tell all your subscribers, tell them that no, you just won't be eating a potato and salad. So, I guess, of course, girl, you'll just have to keep on coming back, you know, until uh, it's time for Sunday dinner to see what my sister has up her sleeve she's like you know do i have any special requests and i'm gonna hire a vegan chef girl all the things so more on that to come so no that has literally been my morning girl i'm gonna still be drinking on this water i definitely don't think i'll reach my gallon goal today but that is just fine you know girl we'll see how many steps i end up with and then of course you'll just have to continue to watch to see what i do decide as far as my food for today but girl go ahead check in of course i hope you are having the most amazing day so far sis i'm about to sit here drink my water catch up on charts girl try to sit down just a little bit and i guess i'll just be seeing you at the house and i'll be showing you what i'll eat and then girl listen i'm going ahead and telling you girl it's probably gonna be an early night for you girl okay girl go ahead and check in and let me know how your morning is going it is like 5 45 and i just got home and of course i am happy about it as always girl so for my afternoon it was pretty much the same thing like the morning was just kind of pretty steady not anything too crazy so i am definitely happy about that so once i left of course i I had to just go get Braylon from after school care and um girl I was so excited to see my baby and oh let me tell you this girl so when the after school lady came you know to open up the door girl asked me why she handed me like two birthday well a birthday card and a Valentine's Day card I have not opened it up but girl I think that is just like so sweet so I got it sitting over here I'm gonna open them up in just a second so one says you know happy Valentine's Day and then happy birthday so I'm gonna open up the cards so anyway, girl, we have made it home. I'm about to go ahead and get Braylon situated and everything. Girl, how about he is off school on tomorrow? They have like an e-learning day. And then, of course, they'll be out of school on Monday. It's President's Day. So he is about to be around here, girl, on cloud nine because he has a very long weekend. So he can kick back, just, girl, enjoy. So how is your girl over here doing, sis? Girl, I hope I'm not coming across like very low energy. But your girl, I am low energy. Girl, I told you earlier, girl, I felt like when I got home, it's going to be time to get in this bed. You know, like how sometimes, girl, you can be so tired that you don't even really want to eat. That's how I feel right now. Now, I know I said earlier, girl, doing OMAD or maybe even using this as a 500 calorie meal. And honestly, that's kind of how I feel right now. I probably will go in here, break my fast only because I do, you know, have like a busy day on tomorrow. If you remember, um, tomorrow is my hospital day. So I got to get up super early, you know, and get to the hospital, drive like an hour and a half away. So part of me is just like, eh, maybe I can just use today as a down day go ahead just make a little small 500 calorie meal and then on tomorrow use it as an update where i can break my fast after i'm leaving the hospital 
girl maybe go treat myself so anyway girl i got a few minutes just to get it figured out so i'm about to go in here do my usual of course i'll lay out my workout clothes for in the morning um remember in the morning we'll probably have to cut the workout a little short just due to the time go ahead get my scrubs ready girl and then your best friend is going to be calling it a night so i guess i'll just be back here in the next little bit to show you how i'll be breaking my fast but more than likely i'm thinking today will just be a down day your girl sneaking in another you know um uh, alternate day fast mo modified alternate day fast so girl let me go ahead and get in here because just like i said girl listen this is real life i am so happy girl we are best friends so you understand some days girl i'm not gonna come on here and just be like all perky and you know like girl just give him girl mm -mm. today sis is tired and we about to get in this bed here soon so let me go in here get all the things i usually have to get done done and i guess i'll just be back to show you what i'll be eating for my one meal today or for my 500 calorie meal for today so this is how I'll be breaking my fast. This will be my 500 calorie down day meal. Girl, and you already know, I didn't count any calories. This is just my regular garden salad, okay? Girl, it's, it's probably less than 500 calories. I know it is because all it is is just my lettuce, tomato, cucumber, carrots. Of course, I'm gonna um, drizzle a little of my Italian dressing on there. And then, girl, listen, we'll just have an update on tomorrow. So I'm about to go ahead, eat this meal. Of course, I'll be back to show you my steps for the end of the day but your girl is about to go ahead and get in the bed I have had the most amazing day from doing the things I enjoy to eating the foods I love. Go ahead in the comments, tell me one thing that has made your day amazing. Y'all already know what to do. Show your girl some love. Click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.